All right, today I'm going to be doing a video about how I designed my own Bible. So before we get into this, this is not a video about how uh, to do a rebind yourself or like to put it into leather. Um, this video is really about how you can do the design of your own Bible and your own layout. And so you'll have to send it off to someone to get it rebound. This is the one that I had done and I had it rebound by a company called Preserve the Word. And, um, but the layout on the inside, that was all kind of something that I've designed. And um, so there's a lot of people who kind of want to do a custom Bible. This is how you can do it. Um, there's a website that's out there where I got this information about how to do this, the basic ideas. Um, there's some Bibles like a Greek and Hebrew Bible, uh, Hebrew and Greek Bible that's available uh, as a PDF that you can download already kind of ready made on this website, but it gives you the instructions about how to go through and build this. So the first step is we'll take a look at, I'll zoom down on this Bible and you can kind of see what I've done with this Bible. And then I'll take you to that website um, that I was talking about here. And we'll just talk about some of the things that's involved there and the steps that you can take to uh, design your own Bible. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Stephen Hackett. And really this channel's everything that has to do with the Bible. So um, if you're interested in the Bible or anything related to biblical studies, um, this might be a channel you're interested in. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in those sorts of things and we'll dive into this video. Okay, here it is. This is the Bible that I had designed. Um, it's got a flap here. You can buckle down right there. Now, I did not, as I may have mentioned at the beginning of this video, I did not bind this myself. I had a company called Preserve the Word do the binding, and they did a nice job. It's a beautiful leather, very thick le leather. Um, more than one layer there and they stitched it for me and so I used um, for the Greek New Testament I used um, a text that was put together by um, the Berean let me get it right now it was the uh, Berean Greek Bible. You can find this online, and they have a very generous uh, copyright provision for it. I actually wrote them to make sure they didn't mind that I used this. Um, but yeah, this is what the Greek New Testament looks like. And then on the English Bible side, I used the, um, there's a King James Version uh, that was available, and it's not as nice as far as the layout. It's just something simple there for reference. Um, yeah, and so I had uh, three ribbon markers, and they put the headband and uh, tail band in, and I was just really pleased with how it came out. Um, I like the perimeter stitching, and everything just kind of came out really nice. It smells really good. So that's kind of a look at the Bible, and we'll get into how to go about doing something like this. Okay, so what you'll want to do is go over to masterntgreek.com, go over to their uh, free content, go to free Greek Bible, and you don't have to do a Greek Bible, you don't have to do a Hebrew Bible, this is just what he's got available. The instructions will work for whatever you can put into Microsoft Word. So if you can get it into Microsoft Word, and you know if it's in the public domain or whatever to avoid the copyright restrictions but if you can get it into microsoft word um, you can use this program here so uh, download your bible greek bible um, or english bible one person had their own translation they commented on a youtube video and they wanted to get this bound their own translation bound get it into microsoft word and then from there, you can adjust the paper size, margin size, font size, whatever whatever size and uh, customizable features that you want. You can do that all within Microsoft Word. Um, and then 
you know, you'll, um, there's some steps you'll want to make sure they're an even number of pages, um, you know, things like that. Um, and then you'll save the Word file as an XPS file. And that's pretty easy to do. So I've got, I don't know what translation this is, but um, you just go in, save as, and then go into XPS. And so that's how, that's what he means by saving it into XPS. Um, and then from there, you can continue to follow these instructions and you're going to take the file that you get done with and you are going to go to Snowfall Press and they will do an on-demand print for you. Uh, what's nice about this is all the costs are up front. You'll know exactly how much you're paying, um, how long it will take, all that information. Uh, so you get everything formatted into Word, you get your document saved, then you can plug it into Snowfall Press and they'll, um, they'll print it out for you. The first time I did this, I made the, I ended up with a book bigger in my hand than I thought I would. And uh, so this is the first time I tried this, as you saw the end result there. Um, and what it is, it's just a perfect binding. That's, that's what that's called. And that's where all your pages are even and they just glue the spine. So that's not the ideal binding. Um, over time, if you use it a lot, it'll, it'll probably give way. So you want to go to, I would recommend one of three places. The place that I first had something rebound was Preserve the Word. And they did a great job. I think they're in the process of moving. It's a family business. Um, but reach out to them. If you don't have, if you've got something like this, this is a project that's a little bit easier for them than say something that's a real major repair. They may be able to get you in a little bit faster. Uh, they were me when I did mine. Um, but they're great because what they're going to do is they're going to strengthen this binding. They're going to cut a grooves, um, grooves across it and then insert some sort of cord or something like that. Glue it back all together. Won't ever be smice sewn, but it'll be uh, a lot better binding than what you would have um, if you just left it as it is. And then they can put an amazing, beautiful cover on there for you and lots of customizable options. Another um, idea is you could go to Norris Book Binding Company. Um, they have a process where if you've got a glued binding, they will go and sew it. You just want to make sure that your inner margin um, is not so close um, that when they sew it and it gets a little bit closer, you're going to lose some of that space. So if you try to go with, if you're going to go with Norris, they will side stitch it for you, but you want to make sure your inner margin is just a little bit, you have a little bit extra there. Third option you've got is Leonard's um, book uh, restoration. There's a lot of uh, Bible uh, rebinders, but they've got a process um, where they can, they can help you as well. If you've got a um, glued binding, uh, frequently asked questions for them is, can you turn a glued paperback Bible into a sewn leather-bound Bible? They can definitely put a leather cover on it. What they say is, <laughs> that sounds like turning straw into gold. Uh, but they do have an option for you. Uh, they do not stitch the Bible, uh, but they uh, use a form of repair called cord insertion, uh, where they insert glue, glued, sorry, glue soaked binding cords into the uh, spine edge of the text block of 45 degree angles which strengthens strengthens and repairs it for the long haul so that'll strengthen your binding a lot it'll never open up uh exactly like a nice spice sewn binding no matter what you do but these will all strengthen those so you've got basically three steps here uh one go over to masternTgreek.com, follow those instructions get it into Microsoft Word, adjust it, uh, customize it as you like, and then 
Uh, number two, take it over to Snowfall Press, and they can um, they can get it printed for you. And then number th three, you'll have to find a book rebindery uh, to put all of this together for you. So that's the basic steps. That's how you do it. Um, find a Bible that you can get into Microsoft Word, customize it, get it over to Snowfall Press, and find a book rebindery, and that's really all there is to it. And you can get a nice um, sewn, uh, not sewn, <laughs> I'm used to saying that, a nice, beautiful, leather-bound uh, Bible. And, um, well, I guess if you send it over to Norris, they'll, they'll side-stitch it for you, so technically it's sewn as well. Not the same as Smythe's sewn, though. That should be known. But um, anyways, if you got any questions about this, if you're interested in this, uh, let me know and drop it down into the comment section below. Also, let me know if you've got a custom Bible idea that you'd like to do one day. These are fun to talk about. Put it down in the comment section below and I'll see you down in the comments.